Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time for another quilt block for our quilt block party. These are the fabrics that I'm working with for this particular series and I do have lots more. These are the bigger pieces. If you are not familiar with this series, there is a playlist link down below. What I am doing is making 20 blocks that would go good together in a quilt. I plan on selling the blocks just as the blocks see if that works and I believe this is block number six so playlist link down below if you want to go get caught up and see the other blocks we've made so far I have two blocks in this little brain of mine and I'm having a hard time figuring out which one I want to do I actually didn't get to do one last week because my schedule was too full so I'm gonna to try to knock out two this week I think I'm going to go with the one that I have in my head that starts in a corner. I do want to look back and see my other blocks to see what do I possibly need. I have a couple of them that have the gingham very prominent and I have some that are like two different ones that are kind of stripey. This one is also kind of stripey and the one I'm making today is going to be kind of stripey. <laughs> But the other one that I have in mind isn't. So I just want a nice variety. All right, we're going to start by taking any piece of fabric. I have a nice piece of this pink kind of reptile print. I'm just going to put it on here as long as I cover the corner. And I want it kind of off kilter because you know I like wonky. So we have it going at an angle and then like that. So that's how we're going to start. That's our first piece. We have a choice to make at this point. We can build on this block by using the same color, like say for the heck of it, if I started with this blue here, that I would also put this blue across the top. And then the next row would be this and this. And that would be pretty cool because it really would show the pattern. Or the other option is just to mix it all up and make it very crazy. So let me stop and think for a second which way I want to go. I think I'm going to do it where... I'm going to use the same fabric on both sides. So let's see here. If I want a piece like this, I'm just going to lay this down across the top and I'm going to stitch and then I will press and open it and trim. When you sew on a foundation, you always stop where your bottom fabric ends, not the top fabric. So I'm stopping right there because I can feel that my bottom fabric ends right there. I did want to mention that I'm working on my 13 inch block. I always cut a little bit bigger so I square it off at the end. So all the blocks in this series are the same size and you can use anything for your foundation. I am using some fabric that I would never use for clothing. I don't know why I had an entire bolt of it. I was just mad crazy that day I guess and so now it is going to end up being all used on this project. I pressed it and then I opened and pressed and you can see that we have this going on, but I don't want... Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? But I certainly don't want a big piece like this. So first, I'm going to follow the line of my base piece, and I'm going to go like just to there. And I'm going to make these wonky also, because I like wonky. So there's our second piece. Now I have never done this, so I really don't know how it's going to come out. And I kind of like just trying it with you guys. So now I'm going to do one here, like that. And I'm gonna just go ahead and trim because I know a little bit about what I need. And let's make it kind of wonky like that. And I'm going to just put this here and so, and I'll be back. And now we have this. And we're going to level it off with this line. So there. Now if I want, I can trim some of this because there's an awful lot of overhang. Get rid of that. Now I'll do one more row with, with explanations. And then I will just do fast forward for the rest. So let's see. What else do we want here? I'm kind of liking this. And it's up to you if you want to trim your fabric first or if you just want to lay it down, go and sew, and then flip and trim. I do it both ways. Ooh, me likey that. So I am going to go ahead and trim since this is kind of a big piece. 
kind of in that shape. I always make it bigger so we know that it's going to cover the way it's supposed to. Super cool. Even off. Now I need another one going this way. I think I had the wrong settings. And I think I want to make this one narrow here just to be different. And do I want to go like this way or this way? I think I want to go this way. Well, first let me trim some off this way. Kind of cool. Okay, I'm just going to put you on fast speed now and I'm going to finish this block. Oops, camera on, camera off, boo-boo. <laughs> I already stitched it. square this up to 13 inches. And now I'm going to stitch all around close to the edge. Was I off camera that whole time? I was. So sorry. And let's see what we have. I love it. I really do. I don't know why, but I'm considering this the bottom left. So you're seeing it the way I envision it being the correct way. Now I want to look at it that way. Yep, that is really cool. I've never done one like this, and I think I will be doing them again. You know, I might try another one with a three-sided piece here and then not have it matchy-matchy just to see what that would do. That might be kind of fun. And since I'm trying to make 20 blocks, I have to come up with some more ideas. So I will be taking some pics of this. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'd love to be able to tell you that's me playing the guitar, but it's not. Click my face to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks!